Okay, so potentially Gemini 3 is coming out today. We've had some early leaks of the benchmarks and also it's been leaked in the cursor model selector. So I was actually able to do uh, test builds and actually take a look at the supposed benchmarks. So if you wanna get a feel for what's coming from Gemini 3, take a look at the next couple of minutes. It's not 100% verified, but it does give us potential indication of what we're going to get later today with Gemini 3. So it's actually scoring really high on a couple of different benchmarks and then fairly average on some others. Let's say the likes of Terminal Bench, an increase there over Gemini 2.5 and importantly, Claude 4 and GPT 5.1. We also have SWE Bench here, which is 76%. And we have SWE Bench verified, basically how good it is at agentic coding. That's what I care about the most, coming in at 76%, which interestingly is just pretty much the same as GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet. So we're not seeing a huge jump in the SWE bench verifications. We are seeing big leaps in other areas like Humanity's Last Exam, AIM 2025 in terms of mathematics, and multimodal understanding and reasoning, the MMU Pro, able to do multimodal reasoning across text, images, etc. All in all, this is a frontier leading model, but not a huge leap forward like a lot of people expected. So it looks like this model was leaked early according to a couple of users in Cursor and I was able to verify that you can get access. So you've got Gemini 3 Pro preview here in the models section of cursor, you just go and go to view all models, type this in and add it and it should work fine. Now, I also can't verify this is Gemini 3 Pro preview. I did some testing, I asked some questions and it wasn't able to completely verify which model it was. It told me it had a context window of 2 million tokens, but it did in its thinking refer back to Gemini 1.5 Pro. So this could be just a this could be just a shadow of an earlier model. I can confirm the tests that I'm about to do are actually Gemini 3 Pro. But anyway, let's take it for a drive. Okay, pretty quick actually, that was only about 10 to 15 seconds. So we have actually a pretty nice looking standard app. I love that it's black and white here. We haven't injected in a load of different crazy colors. Um, this is different. I haven't seen this done before by um, any model. So it's nice to have a variation. Um, this is actually really a, a great start when you compare it to some other models. Okay, next up, create an SVG animation of a pelican cycling a bike. Now, this is really cliched. I've seen this tested so many different times on various different X accounts, but we're just going to see how it works out. Oh my God, wow. This is impressive. So this is a pelican cycling tour. So this is the SVG that was generated by Gemini. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Also, love the new browser setup in Cursor. The way it just opened up the browser there and let us see what was working was really cool. But let's go back over to our 3GS simulation. Let's try plan mode in this case. So created 3GS simulation of a planetary system. Okay, so this is our visualization. This is pretty nice actually. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And of course this is like not to scale. This is artistically done. And then I can kind of scroll around, zoom in and out. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So it feels like via cursor, if I am actually dealing with Gemini 3 Pro, it seems like a really decent model. What we're seeing in the early leaked benchmarks also look quite strong. But again, this isn't a huge leap forward. And I've been saying this for quite a while. We have plateaued when it comes to large language models. All the big releases we've seen from Google and Tropic and OpenAI have seen very marginal increases in quality over the last while. It's kind of obvious here, if a company like Google can't move the needle with all its resources, we've definitely hit a level of a plateau. All the same, I'm really looking forward to the release later on and getting a decent test going. I'm gonna cover that in the channel here. So subscribe if you wanna see best how to work with Gemini 3 Pro for building out apps. And also check out switchdimension.com. It's my course and community where I teach you how to build apps with AI.